Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. How's it going, YouTube? This is Doc Redstone here. I'm finally going to live up to my name. Um, my name is Doc Redstone, according to YouTube. Um, but I have not shown you guys any redstone yet. Um, so this is basically going to be a Minecraft Beginner 101 redstone. Um, pretty easy, simple stuff. So if you know anything about redstone, this is definitely not the video to watch. Um, I am going to be doing a redstone series. And I'll start off with 101, go to 102, etc., etc., to get more advanced structures such as this. Um, but this is just going to be basics. So basically, if you don't know what redstone is, it's a way to program within Minecraft, which is just like saying it's a way to tell the game what to do within itself. Um, so redstone dust, without any mods, looks just like what I have in my hand. However, in order to get it, you have to mine this little funky brick right here. Um, you must use at least an iron pickaxe or above. You cannot use wooden or stone or it will not drop redstone dust. Now there's three components, primary components, and then some subcomponents of redstone. Now the primary components are redstone dust itself, redstone torches, and redstone repeaters. Now you don't mine redstone torches or redstone repeaters, obviously. So if you actually want to make a redstone torch, you need some sticks and you need some redstone. And therefore, if you put the sticks on top of the redstone, just like if you're making a torch, you'll make a redstone torch. Now this is nice. Um, I already have some torches, so I'm not going to use it. But a torch will provide constant power to an object. So as soon as I place down some redstone and I put a torch next to it, this will always have power. So whatever I attach to it, whether it be a door, whether it be whatever, the door will never close. Now if I unattach it, you can see that the door, whoops, here we go. Okay, so, so the door was inverted when I placed it. However, now that this is on, I can never make this door open. This door will always remain closed. However, this is an iron door, so that's pointless, but if I were to do this with a wooden door, it would have the same effect. Now as soon as I break the torch, the power disappears and the door opens. Now there's also redstone repeaters, such so as this. They're basically a way to delay redstone input. And in order to create a redstone repeater, you need two redstone torches, redstone dust, and some stone, some smooth stone. Cobblestone will not work. And therefore, if you create this outline, you'll get redstone repeater. Now I already have a repeater, but whatever. Now basically what a redstone repeater does is if you place redstone, and you place a repeater, and you place redstone again, you have an option to change the delay. Now by default you have a delay of one tick and you can change it all the way up to four ticks. Now four ticks does not necessarily mean four seconds. Four ticks means four tenths of a second. Each tick counts as one tenth of a second. So I would need ten ticks or two and or two and a half redstone repeaters in order to get a one second delay. So I'll go ahead and get a one second delay by placing down some repeaters. And we'll set these to four, which will give me eight, and set this to two, which will give me ten. Therefore if I set my redstone circuit such as and I set a redstone torch, there is a one second delay before it will activate whatever is at this end of the redstone. So those are the basics. Um, redstone can be used for some pretty fun things, such as opening and closing doors. So as you can see, both of these are the same redstone circuits and an iron door. Iron doors cannot be opened by right clicking on them. So if I go over here and I switch the flip, it will go ahead and it will open the door providing a constant power. If I go ahead and press the button, it will last for four ticks and the door will close again.